What's going on guys, Turtle Woody here, and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.12.2. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to be going over something quite simple, um, and it is going to be a wrench. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you don't have to call this a wrench. It's basically an item which rotates the block when you right-click it. Um, and it's a very simple thing to do, so this is going to be a very short tutorial. Um, but this has been requested by Steve... Uh, B Brox. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, <coughs> but he has provided me with the code and he wanted me to make a tutorial on it. Because um, he's too lazy to do a video on it. <laughs> so, <coughs> um, yeah, let's let's get started, I suppose. It's a very simple thing to do, um, so it will only be a very short tutorial. So, first we just need to um, put the item in, our, in its class. So, public static final item, and I'm just going to call this wrench, is equal to a new wrench. Okay, um, yep, and then inside of objects to items, we can create a new, um, in inside of tools actually, because it's kind of a tool. We'll create a new class and just call it wrench. This needs to extend item. And then we can have our constructor. And in here put string name. <coughs> and we can do all the normal stuff. So set the unlocalized name to name. Set the registry name name set the creative tab to um, tutorial mod dot tutorial mod tab um, add it to item in it so item in it dot items dot add this and I'm going to do one more thing and that is uh, two more things actually so first I'm gonna set set the max stack size one and I'm also going to set the max damage to um, I'm just going to do 50 so that's basically the durability that the item has um, and then we just need a on item use so on item use first and let's just push that up in here we want to actually keep this return and just put simply if player dot is sneaking <coughs> then we can do world dot get block state get block state of pause dot get block dot rotate block world pause side dot get opposite and then you want to return enum action result dot success <clears throat> but what you want to do before this is you want to do um, you want to do player dot get held item main hand which will be this <coughs> dot um, I think damage item into mount one and player and just give that a save so basically what this does when you first use the item on a block or when um, um, it gets the block state and the block from that state and then it rotates it to the opposite side um, and then I've made it damage the item for one durability and then it says that it was a success and here it just returns the super um, for what would be in no I keep clicking on super implementation so it returns pass um, that's basically all it is it's as simple as that um, I've already created the texture. Oh, let's just fill this in. Wrench. And to 
control shift O. Um, in fact, one thing we can do is in here we can put int durability and then we can just change this right here to durability and then we can go into item in it and put um, 50 <clears throat> and that basically sets the durability inside of item in it um, shrink in what are you on? just like that um, so that's that yeah I've already created the texture so now let's go and do the lang and the model so first in here we can put item dot wrench dot name is equal to a wrench and just give that a save then inside of models and item we want to go ahead and grab our our tool so I'm just going to use a ruby sword and I'm just going to go with wrench <coughs> go into wrench replace this with wrench I'm using a tool so that we can get um, item for slash handheld and I don't have to type it out it's just a bit faster really and as you see in textures items I have if I refresh it I should have there you go wrench <laughs> That took a while, and there it is. <clears throat> I just got it off the internet because um, I don't think there's really any point in me actually making the texture. You know. So yeah, that's actually all, all there is for this tutorial. Um, so let's run the game, and um, I will see you guys in the game. Okay, so guys, we just got in the game, and let me just grab my wrench. <laughs> So I have um, a few blocks here, which we are going to test to see what works and what doesn't. So first let's try our own furnace, oh, uh, shift, and you see that rotates it to that way, and it just basically rotates it like that. Uh, fences, they should rotate. Um, but it would be hard to see. I think, yeah, they should rotate. But you, you obviously, you can't see it. Um, if we try uh, the chest, it should. Now, I'm just going to test this. It should rotate it and it will keep its contents. Yep, it does. It keeps its contents while you rotate it, which is great. Um, that should actually be the same with the furnace too. So, oh, not with the furnace, just the chest. <laughs> um, so you rotate the furnace as you like. Um, anvil, and the chest. That should keep its contents because that's like not actually stored in the ender chest. Um, it's stored elsewhere. And our chest should work too. Or not. <laughs> um, yeah, some things won't work. You can change the code of your own blocks to make it work. Uh, let's see if the normal furnace works. It might be a function we haven't got. Yeah. Um, so that keeps it. It's just our... Um, blocks which don't um, and there are functions you can do to make that work um, I think it's like on block rotated or something like that um, <clears throat> so yeah um, so if you guys did enjoy this little simple tutorial please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and I will see you guys in the next tutorial so goodbye